Using APIs is indeed a better approach for integrating fingerprint scanners with web application. It offers several advantages, including better security, platform independence, and scalability. Hi, my name is Claire Tisigbe. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we um, integrated our fingerprint scanners with web application. Okay, so this is just going to be a quick snippet of the um, online biometric fingerprint employee attendance system that we have developed. Okay, so we actually developed our own fingerprint pr protocol that we are going to launch from directly from our web browser. Okay, so which means we are not going to leave our web browser uh before we can capture our fingerprint we are going to capture our fingerprint directly from our web browser i'm going to show you i'm going to show you how this works okay all right so i'm going to go back and click on employees one more time so if i scroll down like this you're going to see uh all the uh, uh fingerprint uh uh template or images that we have captured for these demo employees okay so we have just two demo employees right here that we that their fingerprint um, status is still pending okay as you can see here we have pending enrollment so i'm going to show you how uh, to capture uh, one of these employees right here okay but first let me uh tell you how this thing works okay so uh our workflow for the api based fingerprint um integration comprises of uh two parts the first one is the local application for fingerprint capture uh, which is uh developed using c -sharp. Okay, so I use C-sharp language to develop the desktop application that we are going to be uh, launching directly from our web browser. Now, this C-sharp application interacts directly with the fingerprint reader using its SDK. Okay, so for this project, we have used uh, ZK Teco. Um, I'm going to list the uh, series or the versions of the ZK Teco fingerprint uh, scanners that we have used in this uh, 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 project in the video description. Okay, so uh, the local application captures the fingerprint data and processes it. Okay, so example is the fingerprint enrollment, the matching and the verification. So once this uh, once the fingerprint is captured, the local app can now send the necessary data, such as the fingerprint template, which I have encrypted, and probably the unique IDs to this web application that you're seeing right here using APIs. Okay, so that is how it works. So um, number two workflow is um, the web application with API endpoints. Okay, so this is the web web um application that i have also created api endpoints that uh, interact with the uh, desktop application that captures fingerprint so this is just uh, a snippet like a part of the uh, project that we have developed so in our next video i'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process of the entire system for you to know how it works okay so just stay with me let me explain how this system works okay so the web application with the api endpoint um i used uh php as the back end uh, for the front end, I use uh, HTML, JavaScript, Bootstrap, and of course, a uh, RESTful API endpoint that the local application communicates with. Okay, so this is how the whole project works. Okay, so I'm going to close this young man. All right, so quickly, um, let's just see how we can capture our fingerprint directly from our web browser. All right, so now I'm going to click on Enroll Fingerprint. All right, so yeah, it's going to filter all the um, employees that haven't captured their fingerprint, that their fingerprint status is still pending. All right, so now let's capture for this first demo employees, uh, employee that is Ruth Amadi. So uh, I'm going to click on the enroll 
uh, button. So once I click on this, it's going to launch the fingerprint app directly on my uh, web browser, on top of my web browser. I don't need to leave my web browser. So I'm going to click on enroll. All right, so I need a permission. I'm going to click on open. All right, so as you can see, the uh, employee's name, you just see, see it here, that's employee's number, and then the employee's name. You see that? So that is correct. So now I'm just going to capture my fingerprint, the same finger um, um, three times. One, two. So once I capture the next one, then I will now click on Submit. So once I click on Submit, it's going to open my web browser with the details. Yeah. So as you can see, this is the employee uh, details that we just captured that fingerprint. Okay. So the alert notification uh, will prompt you indicating that the fingerprint enrollment uh, was successful. So after an interval of, uh, I think about five seconds, as I said it to be, um, the alert message is going to disappear. So this is just a snippet of the, uh, of the project that we have developed. So in our next video, I'm going to show you, I'm, I'm going to take you uh, through the step-by-step -step, uh, process of all of these menus that you're seeing here. You see the employees, you see the attendant, you see the manage shift, you see the assign shift, the pay deductions, the payroll, the uh, department, job positions, you can manage users. Okay. So I'm going to show you how these things works. Okay. So guys, thank you for watching. See you in my next video.